Hey guys, it's Mac, and today I'm making a video about femininity versus masculinity and perceptions and presentation. So, uh, the way you want to be presented, the way you want to be perceived, um, identify as genderqueer. I say that so often, and I always have to tell people, please don't call me an NB, I'll probably smack you. Um, but, <laughs> identify as genderqueer, so, uh, I've always kind of professed almost hypermasculinity, especially before I was on testosterone, uh, just so people would perceive me as male, because I want to be perceived as male. I want people to assume that I'm male. I want people to think that I'm male. I want to be treated as a man, like, as a masculine man, I guess. And I was wanting that because my appearance was so feminine, but as I'm on testosterone and I feel like as I go into the future, I'm not a masculine man. I'm a very feminine man, and that's okay. Um... I feel like in the FTM community, there's this ex expectation that everyone's going to be the most masculine thing out there. And uh, honestly, have you seen Twinks? Like, <laughs> you don't have to be the most masculine guy just because you were born in a female body. Um, I think getting to know yourself and how you want to be and just like letting yourself really be who you are is what your transition should be about. Not trying to project something for somebody else's ideals. I don't think that that's okay. Um, because someone else's ideals aren't what I want with my life, necessarily. Uh, which is why I started transitioning, because I don't want to follow anybody else's ideals or what they want out of me. So, um, I'm a pretty feminine guy, and it's okay. I wear skinny jeans. Uh, I never stopped wearing skinny jeans. Uh, I wear my toques, and, uh, I probably will still dress the same way I've always dressed. It's the way I like to dress. It's how I feel comfortable. Um... And that's okay. Uh, I like big scarves. I like hats. Like, I'm genderqueer, and that's absolutely acceptable, even as a trans man. Um, I can express myself however I want. Just because there's people that think that they have the right to police your identity and police the way you present yourself does not mean that they have the right to. And um, I feel like a lot of people that follow my Tumblr blog, they know that I have a lot of opinions on the trans community on Tumblr and uh, the politics about surrounding that. Um, I believe that you have to have gender dysphoria, you have to have dysphoria to go on hormones because gender dysphoria is literally the name of the disorder. So it's a medical condition. I believe that gender dysphoria is a medical condition. Um, but that doesn't mean you, anyone has the right to police anybody's identity, whether or not they're presenting themselves as feminine, masculine, like something in the middle, like different things, different days. like. Nobody's fucking business. Anyways, that's my take on it. Um, I hope that you guys are all doing well. Uh, this week is shit. It's gonna be my 11 weeks on testosterone in two days, so that's weird. Um, I want to say congratulations to the guys on the channel. I think I mentioned that Charlie's been on T for a while now, um, and Kendall's one week on T was other today, yesterday, something like that. So. Um, Congratulations to those guys. I'm so fucking happy for you guys. I'm so proud. Um, I just want to talk quickly about a couple emotional changes too, just because like I try and whenever I do make these videos, I try and just add them in there so that I can look back. Um, I've been really angry lately. And um, it's not that like I'm necessarily angrier than I've ever been before, but it's the way I use that anger and the way I react from that anger is entirely different. Like it feels like my fuse is maybe a tenth of how long it was before, and, um, I'm finding that I'm really agitated, um, I've been having panic attacks, they stopped in the last week or so, so I've been good for about a week or so, but I was, uh, for almost three weeks or so, I was getting, um, these really, really bad chest pains, and then I'd start freaking out, and then I'd, like, start hyperventilating and crying and, like, coughing and, like, you know, the big, huge deal, and it would happen almost three times a day, so, um, there was a while when that was happening, um, I'm gonna go to the doctor soon, getting my three month blood test and I need to get that done this next week. So that's gonna be, but um, sorry. I don't know what the hell's going on with me. But yeah, that's gonna happen. Um, my three months is coming up soon and I'm really, really happy that you guys are watching my video right now. So if you have any comments or you have any questions about testosterone, andro gel, anything like that, you know that you can put them in the comment section below and uh, let me know. If you want to hit me up on my Tumblr, you want to hit me up on the Club Tumblr, you have any questions, you have any topics you want me to talk about, any of us want to talk about, that's what the comment sections are here for. So if 
you guys need any help, that's what we're here for. I, like, people always ask me, why do you do this channel? Why do you make videos? Like, and I wanted to tell you guys that, like, when I was questioning, is literally the time when I was questioning, I was watching guys' videos on YouTube. And it was Chase and Chase's guidance and talking to him and watching Emery's video, his one year on testosterone and watching his just his transition that made me really realize that, like, I wanted this for myself. I wanted to be happy. I wanted to be able to look at myself and feel comfortable. So um, that's why I make videos. If one of my videos helps you guys or something I say might make you feel more comfortable about yourself or maybe realize that you're not alone, it was worth it for me. So I hope you guys have a great week. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye.